Good day, everybody, and welcome to today's presentation by me, Coach Ben. Today's presentation will be on TPAC. What is TPAC? TPAC today is, stands for Technology, Pedagogy, and Content, and this is being made for the 21st Century Innovative Educator Course 2015. Today we will show a triple Venn diagram um, with the correlation between technology, pedagogy, and content. So here we go. First, as you can see, we have our triple Venn diagram with content, technology, and pedagogy. So let's go ahead and start out with our content. Uh, there are many different forms of content in our classroom, and here is just a few of them, which could, of course, depend upon your grade level and your class. But um, these are just some general ones that you may see in classrooms. So the next one we're going to look at is technology. And this is technology specific to Tiburcio Vasquez Elementary. Um, we are one-to-one -one with iPad, which is great. And we are infusing those into our teaching. And finally, let's go ahead and take a look at some of our pedagogy. Now, some of these things perhaps maybe could be in pedagogy and technology overlapping, but I think there's a little bit of gray area between um, some of these skills because they are so intertwined, like our fingers on our hand, each individually, each individual, but when we hold them together, it makes a fist, and it's hard to see kind of uh, the, the differences sometimes. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of our overlapping areas that we can see between content and technology between content and pedagogy, and between pedagogy and technology. And again, some of these I feel like could go in more than one area depending upon how it's being used. And finally, here's a few examples of some strategies or um, applications that might be able to go in the middle. For example, if you use a Google Form, then you can use technology um, and assess your content and you can also differentiate within that form and that content will also drive your pedagogy. Also, uh, researching, researching, especially on the internet, uh, researching content using technology and again it lets us have um, some differentiation in there on what we're researching and it lets the students uh, drive some of the content. Also, we have project-based learning, again, which you can see in our overlapping of the three. Um, coding, I believe some of those skills can overlap uh, the three. Critical thinking is in there. Your content could be math-related, and, of course, you're using technology. Uh, Genius Hour and Student Screencast are just a few other ways in which uh, the TPAC model overlaps in the beginning. So thanks for listening. I appreciate your time, and have a great day. Hopefully, I have demonstrated my understanding of TPAC. Thank you.